Hey everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. We're continuing on with our 2011 bow review. Today we're going to be covering the APA Mamba M7. Uh, this is the new bow from APA Archery. You guys know I've done the bows in the past and I've really liked what uh, APA's come out with. They've uh, definitely kept up the great. They got that fang riser on here which allows it to hold on a limb or something if you're hunting. That's just phenomenal. I like uh, I've, I've really commented to Bell up there and uh, told him that uh, I really do like that, that riser because that makes it great for when you're out hunting, especially elk up here in Colorado and you're walking all around. Uh, you're not tree stand hunting much, so you just set it up and you can call for elk or whatever you have to do. They have the, the carry portion of their riser comes out, makes it great for carrying your bow. Uh, this is just awesome the way they've set this whole bow up you guys know a couple years ago when they came out with it i was just ecstatic when they came out with the uh the the fang riser and this this carry guard because that's just something i really like they also still continued on with their broadhead sharpener they got a broadhead wrench on here they also have a knock adjuster so you could turn your knock if needed instead of using your teeth which i know a lot of us do another thing last year they came out with was a cam lock there's a little bar right here you take the bar out and you actually just put your your bow on the ground like this, put your foot in the, uh, the the carry handle, if you will, and then you pull back and you put the pin lock, the pin in the cam on these little notches here, these little notches set, and uh, that way you can release the pressure off the string so you can set the bow up, put a peep sight in it, do anything you have to do, especially in the field, that's great. You don't need a bow press, that's awesome. One thing they do have new this year, is their new little roller guard system here for their cables. Uh, they've always had a slide and they got this roller guard system on here. It's two independent roller guards that, that travel with the cables. That way you don't have any kind of torque on the cables. Uh, they stay in place. And tell you what, it makes it, it makes it a lot nicer. They do have the new high efficiency limbs that they put on. These are thinner limbs, they're three stage limbs and uh, they're meant to produce a lot of power and energy. Uh, the camo pattern they have is really cool. It's like a faded in sort of buckskin is what they call it. And uh, it's got like a grayish handle, half of the riser, and then it goes up into black. That makes it pretty good. If you look right here behind me, you can see it sort of disappears in the woods. That's what we're talking about. It's just breaking up the outline and the silhouette. But overall, it definitely looks really sharp. The, the camo pattern on it, if you want to call it a camo pattern, is definitely nice. Uh, there's no flaws in it from what I see. Looks really nice. They also have the uh, string suppressor system on there, so you don't need any kind of uh, any kind of whiskers or anything on your string to slow down your string. They have the little speed enhancers on the on the ends towards the cams, which which absorbs some of the shock from the string as well. So definitely all around very nice. We set it up with that normal rest we use on all our reviews. Also, we're using that 408 grain VAP from Victory Archery probably the best arrow I've ever shot in my life. Thinner diameter, it's got a big front on it so it punches right through an animal or anything. You guys saw the review on it where I was shooting it through that cube target and it was just going completely through. Definitely a great arrow. Victory Archery has to be the best arrow company out there. If you guys haven't had a chance to shoot these you need to go down to one of your shops and ask them to take a look at these because these are just phenomenal. 408 grains like I said so this is our hunting arrow. Uh, same arrow we've been using in a review but this is the kind of arrow that we're going to be using out hunting. This one's like 28 and a quarter inch or so. All the bows in the review, like I've said, is, are 29 inches at 70 pounds, right-handed, of course. And uh, why don't we go ahead and do a draw test on this bow, see how it does. All right, folks, we're going to do the draw test on the Mamba M7 from APA. We got that Victory Armor piercing arrow set up. Go ahead and draw it back. Very smooth draw. It's both set at 70 pounds, but it only fills, I would say, maybe 55, 60 pounds at the most. You know, it's got 70% let off, so I can sit here and hold it. I try creeping a little bit, and it goes a little bit forward. It wants to take off, but once you're at that wall, it's solid. It doesn't torque at all. It feels really nice. And the creep isn't so bad it wants to jump out of your hand. You can control it just by holding the bow. If you come forward, you got about a quarter inch or so. It's nice though. I'm going to shoot this with my hands open. Touch my finger, of course. Let you guys see how it flies. The bow made a little bit of noise. 
super fast. Uh, it really didn't do much. It just sort of rolled back and then it came forward, but you guys saw that in the film. No hand shock, a little bit of noise, but that's about it. Not, not really even that much. Put a stabilizer on there and I'll take it. Tell you, that was pretty nice. While we watch that shot in slow motion, you guys can see my hand. Uh, we'll do it a couple times so you guys can see the whole bow and then just my hand. And like I said, the boat ain't going anywhere, but just roll forward. Definitely nice. That was really nice. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot it through the chronograph after we watch the slow motion right now. All right, folks, we're shooting that 408 grain VAP through the APA M7. Cut. All right, folks, we're shooting that VAP, that 408 grain arrow through the Mamba M7 from APA Archery. Tell you one thing, I'm shooting the Fusion Veins from Norway Industries, and the arrow went almost through the target, but yet there's no vein damage whatsoever. It definitely stuck really good, and uh, a great, great vein, right? Let's go ahead and shoot that 408 grain bat. Three hundred and two feet per second. All right, folks, there you saw it. Three hundred and two feet per second. You know, that's anything in my book over three hundred feet per second, especially with a 408 grain arrow, is definitely smoking fast. Um, you know, the overall draw smooth it's like drawing nothing um probably like feels like 55 60 pounds at the max you know holds back just fine uh solid wall a little bit of creep in there but you know this the smaller cams on here you wouldn't expect it to be that fast but it's it's pretty smoking fast you know this buckskin stealth camo is just phenomenal it's it's really nice like i said i'm holding this up to the background you can see it just disappears in the shadows it's meant to to mock a mule deer and the color of a mule deer. I'll tell you how many times you've been out hunting if you mule deer hunted and you walk up and there's a deer standing there five feet from you, you didn't even know it. So definitely works really awesome. Um, one thing, the cable guard, no torque on the strings whatsoever or the cables or anything. Smooth draw, I ha it's probably one of the smoothest drawn bows I've shot this year. Definitely comes back, it's just great. All right, overall for this bow, I'm gonna give it about a 9.9. .9. Um, the Mamba M7 is definitely a sharp looking bow. The accessories, I have to give a full 10 because I just love their riser. This Fang riser is just, I mean, God, this bow could shoot 200 feet per second and it would just be awesome in my book because that riser, the accessories, carrying it, you can hold the bow while you're walking. You know, when we truck up through the mountains here, we go from 8,000 feet to 12,000 feet in the morning. Definitely need something to carry your bow. All right, so. Overall, 9.9, .9, another great bow from APA Innovations. You guys can go to their site and uh, apaarchery.com and uh, check out all the bows they have. They have a bunch of different ones. They also have a bunch of accessories. So if you want to get your own sights that are meant for the APA bow or anything along those lines, you can get them there. They did, they were one of the first people to come out with a really cool rest that holds your arrow at full draw. And then when it releases, it opens up. That's what they're known for initially. And uh, that's another great, that's a great rest. I have one of those as well. So 9.9 .9 for the Mamba M7. So for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. We're going to see you guys on our next bow review, which is coming up here real shortly.